Hello coaches, welcome back to another Modern Soccer Coach Breakdown. Today we're going to talk about the five vertical zones, why you would use them, how you can use them, and what are the benefits of using them in your system for a season or a training session. If you enjoy, as always, please give it a like and a subscribe. And if you'd like more information, please check out the link below, modernsoccercoach.com, for more coaching sessions. Here we go. Okay, so with pre-season just starting, you've probably seen pictures of, of training pitches that have channels lined michael Beeler rangers is one example of coaches who use it plenty of other coaches use them as reference points what are they well there's simply five vertical zones the difference in names depends on the language of the coach but typically you've got the outside channels you've got the inside channels and then you've got the central channel so today we're going to take a look at three benefits of using these vertical channels in a training session or in your analysis processes throughout the season so the first benefit is positioning and more specifically reference points, getting the balance right of your team in position, in distances. Now, particularly when you begin an attack, for example, if you're in a 4-2-3-1 and you want your players to be a little bit more expansive in the shape of the build, this gives you reference points. It also gives you a guideline for simple rotation. Here you've got two sixes can move in a 4-2-3-1 from a 4-3-3. Also allows your fullbacks to get high in those outside channels. You can have space in the two wide attackers, 7s, 11s, can occupy the inside channels. The 10 has space in and around and behind the number 9. You can also communicate this in a passing pattern with the channels because of the space in between players. This spacing creates angles, creates passing windows and provides ideas for the team on creating attacking opportunities and getting that structure in the build and into the attack as well. The next benefit of the vertical channels is timing and this is important because although it's a little bit idealistic of all the space and it can become disrupted in a game because of the pressure of the opponent. So to solve a high press you can't have five six players outside angles of support standing around. You're going to need players checking towards the ball and supporting trying to break pressure. So how do you get the balance right between support and spacing? And this is where the channel can help communicate that. In this example, you've got the seven and the nine moving into the nearest channel to support the ball, help provide a solution against the pressure. But players on the weak side then provide a stretch option, give the red central midfielder an opportunity to switch the play and then create an attack. Again, vertical channels are a really, really good way of communicating the timing and when to support and when to stretch because that always changes in relation to time and space and specifically high press situations. The third benefit of using vertical channels is when you're trying to go a little bit higher up the pitch and unbalance a defensive unit. So when build up moves into the final third and you have that 4-2-3-1, how do you communicate solutions to the players to break down a block and create goal scoring opportunities? Again, the channels provide ideas. The back four are typically positioned close to the channels. So in this occasion, you can choose to occupy the spaces alongside those defenders with your fullbacks and attackers. So you create five players in the highest line against the opponent. This gives your opponent something to think about. Your number 10 can float in between the lines and these deliberate movements can then open up spaces around the back four. Quick example here, because there's so many players high and engaging opposition defenders, the number 6 can drop low, change the angle of the attack. The number 11 can drop a little bit deeper to unbalance that defensive line, creating opportunities in and around them. And on this occasion, allowing the number 8 to get a little bit further forward and creating a combination play to release the number 8 for a chance to score goals. So there you have it coaches, just some ideas of why you would use potentially the channels in your training sessions or again in your post-game analysis. Positioning is a big thing in terms of getting that spacing right initially. Timing is also really, really important when you're looking at breaking pressure, the timing of when to drop into a space, the timing of when to stay out of a space and then higher up the pitch on balancing defenders, again reference points of when you can do that and if you do drop out of one space what are the benefits of getting another player into that space again timing but timing higher up the pitch positioning timing unbalancing all really beneficial with the channels but also positioning timing and unbalancing are all requirements of a modern attacking system today in possession so 
if you're looking at communicating these ideas on the training pitch, the zones give you a really, really good visual to help players see that and start dialogue about different types of context that might happen, different situations that might happen in the game. You don't have to have a multi-million dollar facility to do this. Of course, you can just put cones down in the line. They can act as really good visuals. And again, you can use it in your post-game analysis with diagrams or field maps that can help players, again, see positioning and see the benefits of what their positioning can do for someone else's position on the team. Hope you enjoy that. As always, please give it a like and a subscribe if you did. If you have any future recommendations for topics, please put it in the comments below and we'll definitely get it. And the last thing, if you want some recommendations for training sessions, please check out on the link below, Modern Soccer Coach website. Plenty of stuff over there. Thank you so much for the support. I will see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>